wearing a tan leather birkin on her shoulder, Mookie Bolton walked into Artbag, at 11.30 Madison Avenue and made a beeline toward the boutique's manager, Estelle Moore, who stood at the front counter. Can you put initials on an alligator bag? M.S. Bolton asked in an untraceable accent. We can, M.S. Moore said. Starts at $50 M.S. Bolton is based in Palm Springs and deals in handbags made from exotic skins like crocodile and ostrich. She then had some questions about reglazing another alligator bag. I have a customer that did something bad, she said. Let's just leave it at that. This is not an uncommon encounter at Artbag, which since 1932 has repaired pocketbooks and luggage for the social register elites of the Upper East Side if there are any left as well as one superstitious lawyer who can't part with his lucky briefcase. He has had us repair the same attaché case every year since I've been here, said Chris Moore, whose family has owned the store since 1993. The Moores don't discriminate, all bags are created equal, and they average 5 to 10 intakes every day. But they do specialize in the holy trinity of Hermes bags, Constance, Kelly, Birkin. M.R. Moore dipped into the workroom and brought out two different examples of the Kelly that were currently being restored for clients. It's the bag to end all bags, he said. New, a Kelly starts at around $9,200. If you can find one it can change from month to month, but right now Kelly is more desirable than Birkin and Constance. In a glass case at the front door, there is a vintage example of one made of crocodile that the Moors bought at an estate sale and restored. How much? $24,000, MR. Moore said coolly. Despite his apparent candor, MR. Moore is exceptionally discreet. Privacy is very important to our clients. Many of the women who entered the shop one Monday afternoon, there were no men sang its praises, but, as MR. Moore had warned, most refused to identify themselves. One woman came in with her teenage daughter to pick up a black purse made of pressed leather that looked like alligator. It needed to be restitched. This is the go-to repair shop for anyone who needs bags fixed, the woman said. She declined to identify herself, but made it known that the bag was by Vince. Oh, my God, Mom, the daughter said. That's so nice, I'm an old things enthusiast, said Amy Parsons, a newcomer to Artbag. I have an old Mark Cross bag that needed a repair. They recommended I come here. The Moors don't just repair bags but make them as well. In the 1970s and 80s, Artbag created brocade exteriors over 18 karat gold, ruby and diamond encrusted frames for Cartier's handbag line. Today the Moors have shelves of their own intrixiato, think Bottega Veneta, and quilted bags, think Chanel, that are handmade but sell for considerably less than the bags that inspired them. For now, business is booming at Artbag, which can't be said for many Tony stores on the Upper East Side. Artbag even saw an uptick in business after the 2008 financial crisis. People were getting their bags repaired rather than buying new ones, MR.